Hi, Mitch Bailey here. I want to show you how to jump out of pressure switch. Okay, so it's a fairly quick, easy process. This is, this will check to see if the pressure switch is bad on a gas furnace. If the pressure switch is bad, uh, this is one way that you can check it. Uh, this does not check the pressure. You should still use a manometer to make sure that you're actually uh, pulling a slight vacuum on this. That, it's, that that's what's not the problem. But there's a quick way to check it to, to get the furnace to run if if it's a bad pressure switch. So the first thing you need is just a jumper wire, okay? Uh, any kind of pressure switch on, on most gas furnaces, what it's going to do is it's first going to check to make sure that the inducer motor isn't running or that the pressure switch isn't stuck. And in order to do that, it, it should be open. So the, the first thing you want to do is you just want to pull the wires off of a, a, a where you suspect you have a bad pressure switch. So I have the wires off, and then I'm going to attach to the wires, I'm going to attach a, a jumper wire to it. So I pulled the two wires off the pressure switch. Now I've got a jumper wire that I'm going to use to, to jump between the two. But the first thing that the circuit board looks at is it looks to make sure that the pressure switch isn't stuck closed. And uh, then uh, if, it's not, if it's not closed, it's going to start the cycle and it's going to run through its regular cycle. But then it, it's going to sense to see that the pressure switch is actually closing when the inducer motor starts. And so uh, we have to see that. And the way to jump it out, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the two wires and we're going to simulate that it's open. And then as soon as it starts up, then we're going to simulate that it's actually uh, closing. So let's turn it on. Okay. So now the inducer motor will start because it'll sense that the, uh, uh, now it's sensed it. Okay, now it's going to start the inducer motor. Now all I need to do is just put my jumper wire together and it should go through its regular cycle. It'll go through its regular cycle. We'll see the hot service igniter uh, come on. Give it a second. It goes through a purge cycle first. Uh, inducer motors purge out any leftover flue gases. Hot service igniter is lit, or is, is gonna light the burners directly here in a second. Flame sensor is going to sense the flame, and it will remain on until it satisfies the thermostat. Now, once it satisfies the thermostat, and we'll simulate that real quick, too. Okay, so the burners came on. Now, let's simulate that the uh, thermostat is satisfied. So, the unit shuts down. Okay. Now, then, what we're going to do... What we're going to do right now is we're going to check and, and make sure that the uh, uh, that it. I'll show you what happens if this was closed. It's not even going to go through cycle. It'll throw an error code down below. Okay, so now it's the it started again, but I've got it jumped out, so it won't even uh, start because uh, it's throwing the error code. And uh, I'll show you the error code real quick. All right, so there's the error code. It's a uh, slow green LED is flashing. The red LED is off. And uh, right here, I'll show you right there. As you can see, it says right on the um, on it that uh, off on the red and slow flash on the green flame uh, means the pressure proof switch was open, blocked or inlet exhaust vent, or pressure switch closed prior to activation or combustion air inducer motor. So that. We had that jumped out. So we, we could prove really quickly that that pressure switch, um, that we could run it without the pressure switch for a few minutes. But once that's uh, done and it runs through a cycle, it will not start again unless you open this. Now, if I open this, if I open these, take this loose, and then let's do the other one. This one's a little tighter. So if I take this loose, it's going to, the juice is going to start, and then if I attach the um, jumper wire, it'll go through a regular cycle. And you can see it's flashing normal operation. That's normal operation uh, when it's flashing fast like that, both LEDs. Uh, it should go through its cycle here in just a second. There you go. And the burner's a light. light and it sends flame and it'll stay on until it satisfies the thermostat. Once the thermostats are satisfied, uh, 
it will go through a cycle again when it wants to turn back on, but it won't start because that those that jumper wire is there. All right, hope you learned something here. Please like and subscribe, and see you on the next video.